There was this angel that was not always happy with the decision God takes. One of such decision was even before the Garden of Eden, when God decided to design man with the intent to place him above the angels in hierarchy of beings. While the other issue was during the time of Abraham. Now, what made the story of Father Abraham in the Bible an interesting twist is the fact that after he has lived for almost a hundred years without a child and God finally gave him one with his wife Sarah, who was already past menopause. Yet God still demanded that Abraham sacrifice his only son Isaac as a burnt offering for him. Abraham was ready to do just that until God had to stop him at the dying minute and ah, this angel was not happy with such decision at all. His name was Molech, he was an angel that was second in command to angel Lucifer while they were still with God. It was said that he used to love children very much until God created man and started giving more attention to the children of humans than the angels. I shall be relying on the Masoretic text of the Bible, the Greek Septuagint, the New Testament, and other reference to talk about this evil angel in this video. Lucifer, who was the chief of the angels at that time called for a meeting against God. And Molech, who was one of his right-hand men, was given stage to make a speech at the parliament. He immediately declared war against God and promised to help in recruiting angels in their plan to overthrow God. Since he was the second in command to angel Lucifer in the company of the rebellion, his words carried weight and his order was easily obeyed. Besides, it was a simple task for him to convince others to join their ranks against God, because he was good in the act of influencing others for a course that he believes in. He was a fierce warrior among the fallen angels who was also among those leading charges as one of the top rebel and member in the faction of Lucifer during the battle with the other angels of God in the heavens. It was said that he fought fearlessly. However, they could not overthrow God because they met an opposition far stronger and superior that is led by angel Michael and assisted by angel Uriel. When they were thrown to the earth after their defeat, he decided to specialize in act of stopping the development of humans, hence his interest in killing children and child sacrifice. Due to his position as the second in command to Lucifer, he became one of the top leaders for the fallen angels while they were on earth. He was also one of their leaders even after the flood during the time of Noah. He is called king in the region of the dam. Before his sojourn to hell, where he also holds sway, he formed an oath, called the Molech Oath for all the angels to take to show their allegiance to Lucifer. He was also known as the Earth God and can transform himself into darkness. Molech was known for many things, one of which is the fact that he was once a fertility angel a god of fertility that later turned to an evil deity. His plans to become a god was during the time of Moses when he transforms into the spirit of the golden calf that Aaron made for the Israelites after Moses went to the mountains and was being delayed in coming down by God. The people thought they were just worshipping an innocent statue, not knowing that the statue was possessed by the fallen angel, Molech. The reason God told Moses in Leviticus 20 verses 2 to 5 to warn the Israelite against worshipping Molech and child sacrifice. Molech is portrayed as the god Chamosh of the Moabites, a bronze statue that has a crown on a calf's head, which sits on a throne with his arms stretched to receive the child for sacrifice as an offering to him. It is claimed by the rabbis that the statue of Molech has seven cabinets, the first is for the flower, the second cabinet is where the turtle doves are kept, the third is for the ewe, the fourth is where the ram for sacrifice is kept, the fifth is for the calf, the sixth is for the beef, and the seventh is where the child to be sacrificed is kept. During the child sacrifice, the priests will beat the drums and other objects loudly to distract the cries of the children, so that the people will not hear the cries and anguish of the child been sacrificed to Molech. Molech is a rash, murderous, and bloodthirsty demon that is still interested in fight with God, believing he can overthrow God in heaven. He still tries to take the fight to God even when he and his other fallen angels are already defeated and banished from heaven. He does not like to give up easily. He is even more persistent than Lucifer the leader of the fallen angels himself. Being a wartime angel, he derives pleasure in the spilling of blood and goes out of his way to ensure there is conflict in the world today. 
He is probably somewhere now inciting one nation leader against another. Molech as deity may be as a result of pre-Christian deities that were believed to be altered to demons, due to believe in a one almighty God system that turned other forms of gods like Baal and Mammon into demons. One of Solomon's worst decisions during his time as king of Israel was to order the construction of pagan temples, according to 1 Kings 11 verse 7. Molech was one of this paganism's gods. Even though the Lord forbade heathen worship and specifically mentions Molech, Solomon and his people had drifted away from the ways of the Lord during this time. God was against Molech because infanticide, or the killing of infants and children as a pagan sacrifice, was chief component of Molech worship. The origin of Molech as a god is still in contention up to today as researchers still disagree as to whether Molech is genuinely a Phoenician pagan deity or a Canaanite's pagan god as it was believed for many years. Whatever the situation is, God made it very clear that worshipping and offering sacrifices to Molech were forbidden. Scripture states that this devotion was principally performed at the valley's Topheth, which means pit of flame, according to its name in 2 Kings 23 verse 10. It was a horrific sight to behold as the ultimate act of worship. A baby would be placed in his hands, and his followers would watch as the baby is burned to death in front of their eyes while the baby cried. This is so mean. Only the most morally depraved person could excuse such adoration because it shows such a degree of depravity and such a contempt for the sanctity of life to kill innocent babies as an act of worship. However, it appears that some Israelites did so, which greatly upset the Lord. The typical representation of Molech is that of a fiery-looking bull-headed anthropomorphic deity. In the medieval Jewish commentaries era, Molech is believed to be humanoid god that has a head like that of a bull and has outstretched arms over fire where the child to be sacrificed in places during the sacrifice. This is connected to the biblical Molech which was depicted as Cronus or Baal Hammon. In the mythical prophecy called Anunnan Rama, Anushan Rama, it was said that Molech was one of the casualties of the civil war that took place in hell among the fallen angels. The war started when a fallen angel called Cambian Hellboy staged a coup d'etat against Satan himself. He used a twin sword to strike a weakened and crippled Satan. He then led the other rebel demons in hell against the lieutenants of Satan, and Molech happens to be one of the top lieutenants. So, he was among the first demons that was killed after Satan in the Overthrow Saga. This was said to happen in hell according to the prophecy. The others that were killed were Astorteth, Sunel, Uziel, Asmosias, Beelzebub, Behemoth, and Leviathan. In today's world, you will find Molech's spirit where there is an infant death, a miscarriage and anything that will result the spilling of blood of child. In fact some people believed he is the spirit behind abortion. It was believed that he derives pleasure from the cries of mothers that lost their children. Thank you for your support.